heat, 3A is in the water. The Payless American Spirit in lane one. In lane two, the Kellogg's boat. Lane three finds T+. Plus. The Winston Eagle on the outside in lane four. And the far outside, Miss Brent and Jerry Hop. There's the green flag, and we're off and racing in Honolulu, Hawaii. Those of you just joining us, this is heat 3A. Right now, it's the Kellogg's Frosted Flakes. Now, Mike Hansen has had a terrific day out here. He won in San Diego. As you look out the cockpit of the Winston Eagle, off to the left, you can see the Kellogg's Frosted Flakes rooster tail. There's your lead boat. Mike Hansen of Madison, Indiana, doing a great job. He's getting challenged on the outside. The Miss T-Plus is trying to come up on him. These two boats have been competing neck and neck all day long. And what a great job the crew has done for Mike Hansen. The Kellogg's boat showing no effect of the minor damage uh, that was inflicted on it in the earlier heat. It is flying all 6,000 pounds of this boat, looking as good as it has all year. And if it maintains that position, Steve, I can see right now the Kellogg's Frost and Flakes team will take the lead in the Odual High Point Championship for second place over the Winston Eagle, who's having his problems today as we look out the cockpit of the T-Plus with Steve David driving. Steve David still looking to try to move up on that lead boat if he possibly can. He's got a lot of power left in there. There you see the field as it is spread out as they go into the turn. No problem at all for the Kellogg's Frosted Flakes. Winston Eagle bouncing around. You can see how that pressure. Look at the hook that holds his helmet in position as he goes through the turns. That's Mark Tate who's inside of that helmet and he is inside of that boat the Winston Eagle. There's the Payless American Spirit, driven by Mark Evans. Mark holding the boat in there. He's had a pretty good run all day, but right now is riding in fourth. The Winston Eagle, incidentally, apparently showing no problems at this point. No problems either for the Kellogg's Frosted Flakes. As a matter of fact, no problems since the last race. This boat has been really coming on strong. There you saw the checkered flag for the Kellogg's Frosted Flakes. Mike Hansen with another win on the day. He has really Really racking up the points. Miss T Plus was second. Winston Eagle third. Fourth was American Spirit. And Miss Sprint did not finish. Mike Hansen's got to start thinking about lane choice for the final. We get lane choice, so um, obviously we'll be in one of the inside lanes. And uh, Winston's going to have third or fourth pick, so they'll be on the outside, obviously. So uh, it ought to give us an advantage. If we can get through that first turn clean, uh, we can sew up the second place points and possibly win this thing. For the other side of the story, now let's go down to the Winston camp and Steve Montgomery. As you can imagine, guys, this is not a happy team. The Winston team is very competitive. They have not had a good day, and I really appreciate driver Mark Tate's willingness to talk to us. We're not used to seeing you drive around in third place, and I know if there was anywhere else you could be, you would. Yeah, the whole team's not used to it. We just uh, we got some type of bug here today, and we can't really feel out what it is. We don't know if it's a fuel problem, a system problem, a boat problem. Um, we've made some changes for the final here, and hopefully we'll uh, tattoo it and uh, be competitive in the final. We're down to the last elimination heat of the day. Heat 3B, the field is Oboy Alberto, the tide, Miss Budweiser, Kawhi Aloha. We're aboard the Miss Budweiser now with Chip Hanauer. Earlier, Steve Evans talked with Chip about a unique opportunity. With their turbine power and enclosed cockpits, unlimited drivers are a lot like fighter pilots. They just never get to take off. Well, not intentionally, anyway. But Chip Hanauer, recently, you took off big time with the Blue Angels. I did. Dream come true, and I think it is for a lot of people. Sure. And it's almost indescribable. I've driven a lot of performance vehicles in my life, but that F-18 goes beyond mechanical. It feels almost spiritual. I mean, what it does yeah. just isn't mechanical. Tell me about the carrier brake. The carrier brake is basically where he makes a, a bank turn right. to one direction or the other and you pull so many G's that they call it graying out. You don't go unconscious, but you get almost unconscious, and your vision just goes down into a small, as you described earlier, like looking through a toilet paper tube. Would you do it again? Oh, I'd do it again in a minute. Uh, you just have to know that uh, you're, gonna, you're, you're not going to feel very good. It's one of those things that's the best and the worst of days. And I'm sure that experience rates right up with this one as Chip Hanauer is the winner in Heat 3B, which is going to give him points to get him into the final heat out here today. And we have the final results with Miss Budweiser first, then the Tide, Oh Boy Alberto, and Kawhi Aloha. Jim Hendrick is with the Miss Bud owner. As we close out the RC Cola Hydro Play Series 93, it marks the 14th time that this man, Bernie Little, and his team, the Budweiser team, has won the world championship. Is there any more favorite than the other? Are, are they all equally as thrilling, Bernie? Well, certainly they are. Uh, uh, you know, when you talk about which one's thrilling, when you win the Gold Cup, you've, won it. you've really come down to doing something great. But every year that goes by, it gets better. It gets more competition and b better speeds. Uh, we set a world record here uh, on this course at qualifying at 169 plus. 
We've had a great pleasure working with ESPN and uh, everybody involved with them. They do an outstanding job for us in racing, and uh, we just want to go on record with that. It's been a great year, Jim. Three boats that haven't qualified for the final will get a last chance to the old boy Alberto, Miss Sprint, and the Kauai Aloha. Well, he probably wishes he had three laps in this last chance heat because he was unable to even make the start in this one. Mike Ekrit in the old boy Alberto was the winner. That boat will now advance to the final today and will be having that race coming up momentarily. And in that race, it will be a battle for second place points for the season between the Winston Eagle and Mark Tate Mike Hansen and the Frosted Flakes. We'll see who wins in a moment.